Welcome back, everybody. My name is Tank. Today, we're going to be talking about Bitcoin, Ethereum, and Cardano. I'll be giving you my thoughts about where we are in the market as well as where I think we might be going in the near future. We're going to try to make this one pretty quick today because I got a couple of things I need to do this afternoon. Right now, we are seeing some really good price action within the crypto charts over the past 24 hours. Before we talk about those charts, let's take a quick look at Coin Market Cap and the overall crypto market to see how it's currently doing. Right now, the total crypto market cap is $1.99 trillion. We are retesting that $2 trillion market cap evaluation for cryptocurrency. And as we retest $2 trillion, please expect some volatility as we bump up into $2 trillion. With that being said, as you guys can see, the top 10 coins in crypto are all doing fairly well over the past seven days. Bitcoin up 6.8%, Ethereum's up 5.2%, Cardano has claimed at number three spot and is up 50.89% over the past seven days. BNB still doing well now in number four, up 15.56% over the past seven days. XRP, another great mover, much like Cardano in that number six spot, up 60.31% over the past seven days. XRP doing the best moves overall in the crypto space. Dogecoin, that number seven coin, is up 15.84% over the past seven days. Polkadot is doing 9.49% to the upside over the past seven days. And our last token on this list is Uniswap, which is still up 7.73% over the past seven days. So all in all, the top 10 coins in crypto are all doing well for the past seven days. Now, let's jump on over to Bitcoin on the four hour time frame and take a look at what we possibly might be dealing with over the next 24 to 48 hours. Guys, before I tell you what I'm seeing on the charts, if you guys missed yesterday's video, I told you guys that after options expired, we would see higher price points for Bitcoin. And what happened yesterday? We saw higher price points, major price gain to the upside after options close. I've been killing it with my predictions. If you guys have been following the videos that I've been putting out on YouTube, hopefully you've caught that signal, you bought the dip and you've realized profits on the way up. Now, like I always say, with every pump, there's a dump, but with every dump, there's a pump. Realize profits as you see them come in. Never hold your bags because 99% of the time it will turn around on you and you don't want to be caught in a hairy situation so that's just my two cents not financial advice always realize profits when it's there to be realized let's quickly take a look at the four hour time frame to see what we possibly might be dealing with over the next 24 to 48 hours right now we are still above that 50 ema which is good news for bitcoin we have been really doing well bouncing off the 50 ma since the 20th when we started this rally to the upside that's right around here we have stayed above the ema for the majority of the time and again yesterday we came down to the 50 ma and we bounced right off of that to make a good move to the upside so we are where we are we can only work with what we got right so let's take a moment and take a look at what we got on market cipher b which is the lower section of the charts right here the rsis are pointing upwards keep in mind that that is a lagging indicator we are in the green on market cipher b for the four hour time frame let's take a look on the three hour time frame three hour time frame shows us that the rsis are kind of flattening out here we are still in the green but i don't see any other signals showing us that we might actually pump to the upside excuse me that's my miner i stay mining all the time uh two hour time frame right now is showing us that yeah we did catch a little bit of a rally and we are kind of going sideways on the rsis the funny thing is though we do have a trigger buy signal right here on market cipher b which is this green dot showing us that this might be a good time to possibly get in on a position we also have green on the money flow so we are hitting three confirmations on the two hour time frame not enough for me to per se take a position but if i was to be taking a position i would definitely be giving this some consideration if we go to the one hour time frame you can see that the rsis are trying to go back up we are in the green and we did catch some momentum a few hours ago so that's something to also keep in the back of your head all in all, I do see us just probably going sideways as we slowly creep to the upside, possibly reclaiming 47000 47200 or $300 for Bitcoin's price before later in Sunday's afternoon when options open up. That's when I think the move is going to be made for Bitcoin and the rest of the crypto market. I think once options open up in the later part of Sunday, that's when the price movement will happen to the upside for all of these assets. Keep that in mind, guys. Watch it closely. I'm calling it much like I called it before in my previous videos. I definitely think we will be retesting $50,000 once options open up 
on Sunday afternoon. With that being said, guys, let's jump on over to Ethereum and see how Ethereum is doing. Ethereum is looking really, really good as well. Like I've been saying, guys, all in all, there's way too much bullish fundamentals and technicals happening in and outside of the charts for Ethereum. If you didn't catch my last videos, I explained to you guys before that Ethereum, after doing the math, because I was a skeptic, after doing the math, guys, I honestly do think that Ethereum, as long as the burn ratio stays where it's at or anywhere relatively near where it's at currently, I think that we actually have a chance of making Ethereum ultrasound money. Again, I was a skeptic about it before because, you know, Ethereum has an unlimited supply. But after doing the research and after doing the math, as long as the burn ratio holds near where we're at right now, we will be creating a deflationary asset with Ethereum. It will turn into ultrasound money. There's less and less Ethereum on the exchanges to buy and or sell. So as it's becoming more and more scarce, in and off the market you gotta think that overall the price is going to increase for ethereum again there's a couple of variables that need to happen for that scenario to be true but all in all if we keep doing what we've been doing we don't even have to increase if we just keep doing what we've been doing for ethereum we will see ethereum become ultrasound money so i'm super bullish on my ethereum holdings let's take a look at ethereum's four hour time frame on Marcus FRB. Right now on the four hour, you can see that the RSIs are trying to turn back upwards, guys. We're going flat right now, but it does look like it's trying to curve back upwards. We have been deep in the green on the four hour time frame. Let's go to the three hour time frame. Three hours giving us mixed signals with the RSIs, still pointing downwards, still in the green. The two hour time frame, kind of doing the same thing, going sideways, still in the green. So again, nothing really major as far as a signal about which way we might be going from the two to the four hour. On the one hour here, you can see that we do have a signal and signs that we will possibly may be heading down on Ethereum's price just a little bit. I've been saying it for the past few videos that anytime we see sell pressure come in on Ethereum's chart, it just gets weaker and weaker and weaker in my opinion. Yes, we had this little sell-off, but all in all, I thought that this sell-off was also very, very weak. I've been telling you guys, they just look weak to me. Usually when we move to the downside for Ethereum, it's lightning fast. Lately, it's been a struggle to come down. There is a saying in the market that to climb is like taking the stairs and to go down is like taking the elevator. It feels like, now it could be wrong, but it feels like that saying has kind of reversed for Ethereum. It feels like to go down, you're taking the stairs and lately to pump is like taking the elevator, not financial advice, just something that I've been noticing as the sell pressure comes in every single time. It does look weaker and weaker. Um, right now, we are again seeing a little bit of a signal showing us we could come down just a little bit more. But keep in mind, we are still in the green as far as money flow goes on Marcus Cypher B. The RSIs are a lagging indicator and it does look like we could actually be exhausting our sell pressure. Again, anything could happen. So keep an open mind, not financial advice, just what I'm seeing. And I'm also reaching that conclusion based on recent price action on the one hour time frame for Ethereum. Saying that it could be exhausted is because look at the wicks on the bottom of these candles. We've been riding the 50 MA on the one hour and the wicks look pretty good as far as support coming in on Ethereum's chart. So just keep that in mind, guys. With everything going on with after EIP 1559 and ETH 2.0 right around the corner, regardless if your opinion is that it's going to be delayed or not, it is still relatively right around the corner. Every technical and fundamental analysis about Ethereum looks bullish so i'm not selling any of my ethereum i definitely don't think any long-term holder with bigger time horizons should sell their ethereum if you do i really do think you're just selling at a loss and if you're patient you will be rewarded in the future so just my two cents about ethereum let's quickly move on over to ada ada the only asset right now on my chart that's in the green ada doing really really well on the one hour time frame and since we're here we'll just go from the one hour to the four hour and work our way back up one hour time frame looking really good. We do have, just like Ethereum, a signal here showing us some selling pressure coming in on Marcus Cypher B, but the RSIs look like they're just going flat here, even though they're kind of pointing downwards. It still looks like it's kind of just going flat because I'm looking at Marcus Cypher A, and as I see on Marcus Cypher A, the wicks look really good as well on all of these red candles, which means we have good support still coming in for ADA. Ada right now trading at two dollars and seventeen cents, making really good moves every single day over the past 
about three or four days now. I don't think that trend is going to be broken anytime soon, especially now that Charles has come out and put the timeline out there for smart contracts by the end of September to be launched. I think everything is just like Ethereum as far as technicals and fundamentals go for ADA are extremely bullish and anybody selling their positions right now, if you are not a trader, would be a foolish thing to do. I get traders. You can make money up and or down whenever the market ebbs and flows. I get it. I do it. I get you guys. Don't come at me just yet. But if you're a long-term trader, if you're just holding and investing, I think that it'd be a really dumb move to sell your ADA right now, guys. Things are looking really, really good for ADA. Let's move on over to the two-hour. The two-hour time frame, the RSIs are starting to point back up on Market Cypher B. We are deep in the green, much like we've been for ADA. Right now, the three-hour time frame is kind of showing us that we are coming back down and going sideways. So getting some mixed signals, I suspect, just like the other two assets that we just previously talked about, we could possibly just range and go sideways for the remainder of the day or at least until options open up on Sunday afternoon. Again, I think when options open up, we will soon see higher price points for these assets. Could be totally wrong, but I'm calling it just like I called the other shots. I do think when options open up, especially for Ethereum, especially for Cardano, we will see some price increase on the charts. Bitcoin technically, honestly, could just go sideways here and we could have a really good alt summer. Um, just some perspective to think in the back of your mind. Right now on the four hour time frame, they wrap things up. We are pointing a little bit upwards. It's looking like it's trying to point upwards on the RSIs. Everything else on Market Cypher B looking really good. We're in the green, looking like momentum's still there. We do have less and less volume right now. And you can tell uh, that by just looking at the overall uh, candle and how big the body is. As you can see, when we have a lot of volume coming in on the charts, the candles are a lot bigger. Uh, right now, this candle is a lot smaller as long as well as the wicks. I'm sorry, my kids are running around being crazy. But all in all, guys, that's what I'm seeing right now for the market. Keep what I said in the back of your head. I do think once Sunday rolls around and options open up, we will see some volatility because we'll be pushing into that $2 trillion market cap for the entire space of crypto. But shortly, therefore, after once we fulfill all of that little bearish uh, need that every Sunday has, we will shoot back up to test $50,000 for Bitcoin, maybe get into that $3,400 range for uh, Ethereum. And again, I do actually think that we'll be getting to that $2.30 range tomorrow or maybe Monday morning for ADA. That's what I'm seeing on the charts. Like I always say, if you guys found this at all helpful, please consider liking and or subscribing to the channel. It helps me bring this content to as many viewers as possible. The more people that I can reach, the more people that I could possibly help. As always, protect yourself, stay in profits, don't overextend, stay blessed, peace.